Hey everybody, welcome to How Do I Know You with your host Mark and Duane. What up? And today's topic is... Today's topic is abortion. For it, let's go. Let's get the fuck out of here, Mark. Yep, let's just scramble it up. Alright, buddy. Uh, I'm about to rape me a bitch easy. tonight. Um, no, but, uh, today's, uh, topic will be abortion and, uh, the, the abortion, uh, law that yeah, is Alabama. Yeah. That it's, uh, has now been put, well, it, it passed, has been put into action yeah. yet, but it was voted on today. Um, so if you're time stamping this, yes, we don't do this shit in real time. <laughs> uh, if you didn't know already, uh, but, uh, was it was it that it was passed today, or that the the amendment was uh, was voted down and then it just went forward? Because I know the amendment was uh, that if you were if you were raped or a victim of incest, then you could get an abortion still, even though it's illegal. Like that'd be the only time that you could get one. No, they were arguing on that into last night. So this is something that is going into effect. Okay, it's good. so this is a this is a complete like. Bill, this is, a, this is a new law. Okay, so that amend- they, they were just arguing that amendment, and the, the amendment fell. Now it's just like no abortions all across the board. Right in, okay. in the state of Alabama. Let's but um, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna go in depth on that uh, interesting law, and also we're gonna try to try to break it down to the most minute. Uh, <laughs> uh, I guess. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The most minute uh, points mm-hmm. for this type of situation because it looks like there's a lot of a lot of stupid people involved in this. And uh, also, I feel like if you look just if you use common sense, there's also a reason for all this type of stuff. But I, don't, I, th- I think people are so riled up that they're just not looking at the the obvious. But uh, let's try to sound smart for a change. Um, Impossible. Because we're geniuses. <laughs> Uh, no, but, um, so pretty much, um, this is from CBS.com, CBS News. So it looks like, uh, it states the new law is the most restrictive anti-abortion measure passed in the United States since Roe versus Wade was decided in 1973. The legislation house bill 314 human life, what the fuck? Human Life Protection Act bans all abortions in the state except when abortion is necessary in order to prevent a serious health risk to the woman, according to the bill's text. It criminalizes the procedure reclassifying abortion as a Class A felony. Let me say that again. It criminalizes the procedure reclassifying abortion as a Class A felony. Can you name some other Class A felonies? No. That's pretty how sure crazy it is. I'm pretty sure that I've either been accused of some or <laughs> we've done some and just didn't know it, but I can't name any. So, yeah. um uh punishable by up to 99 years in prison for doctors. Attempted abortions will be reclassified as a class C penalty. And it goes on, let me just get to the uh oh, so the class A is for the doctors, but it's a class C if you attempt to get one. Uh that's, yes, that's wild. Um, let's get to the to the to the meat of this. Uh, the legislation makes no exceptions for victim of rape or incest. Once again, the legislation makes no exceptions for victims of rape or incest. And that's where I think people were having like the crazy issue. Like they were focusing on that a lot. Right. What I saw online. Um. Yeah, everything else is pretty much. Some yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Uh, legal jargon. It's not even legal jargon. It's just them talking to the lady who signed the bill gives a fuck. Oh. Um, or the governor who signed the bill gives a shit. Uh, so, where do we start from here? Um, so, the thing I was saying a lot on social media was uh, the people that voted down the whole incest or, or rape part of it. Mm-hmm. And it was just 22 white men that was it and everyone's just like oh so a group of men get to decide what happens to a woman's body and and no woman has no say in it at all uh that's something that i think just again we're gonna i'm gonna use the term common sense a lot today uh common sense should should tell you that that's a problem if 
let's take take the abortion out of it right now. Um, if I was a guy, um, if you I were am, a guy, <laughs> <laughs> no, He's but not everybody, nah. Um, but so if I'm a guy and I'm going up to, uh, let, me, let me flip that. If I'm a white guy and I'm going up to a black woman, right, and I'm telling her, hey, this is how you fix your hair. At any point, do you think uh, that's going to be an out, some sort of outrage, right? Because you're not, you're not, you're not black. So how'd you right. tell me how to fix my hair, right? Mm-hmm. Same regard. Um, if Let's just take myself now. Um, me being me, I am a male. Now, I go up to uh, my girl, right? And I tell her, hey, um, let me show you how to, how to stop your period. <laughs> <laughs> how to stop your period? <laughs> let me show you how to stop Wait, that. Wait, is that possible? Yeah, exactly. Holy exactly, shit, right? They've been lying to us all because along. Because I'm a male and I feel like, you know what? You guys are doing just, it wrong. It's really, it's willpower. You just got to believe that you can. You're letting yourself have a period. And see, the thing is, if you think positively, you're not going to bleed down <laughs> if there. If you suck the blood back in. <laughs> Back into the fallopian tubes. My boss, uh, who's uh, he, he's, he said that to you. No, he's you cool, but uh, he's like, can you stop fucking being on your rag at work, bro? Like, <laughs> stop, stop bitching. To your me, boss bro. said that to you. <laughs> no, um, but uh, my boss, he has this, he has this odd way of thinking that I tell him all the time. Like, it, like I've told him before, it doesn't work. Like, that's not possible. But he. He always says every time there's like an outbreak of some sort of illness in the in the office, I'm always like, man, I'm trying not to get sick. And he's like, he's like, see, I don't, I don't really worry about that. I just try to think positively, and I just don't think about it. And I'm like, yeah, you're gonna get sick. And then like right now, this, yeah. is, this is the first time he called out uh, for being sick, and I was just like, this is my point. Because, you know, you can't just be next to people and be like, no, no, no. Yeah, they're coughing and shit, but I'm just going to think positively and, yeah, I'm going to get sick. Like, like no, nigga, there's germs. Like, you're going to get sick, bro. Like, shit's going to happen. But, um, go back on topic. Uh, had to let that out. Um, because he's sick. Uh, <laughs> but... <laughs> To go back on top. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just like, oh. Cause uh, I, cause don't, you, don't you hate it when like your boss is always like, no, no, don't do this, don't do that, and then, and then so they so fucking they do, do it, it right like, there. But the thing was that made me mad was I was just like, oh, you didn't come, so I could fucking make fun of you. Yep. I'm gonna do it still when y'all ask. Oh, come did you back. did you have a negative thought? Is yeah. that what happened? <laughs> oh man, is that why you're sick? Thought. Is that why you're mm. sick, huh? Shout out to my boss though. He is he is cool. Um, but uh, so these twenty two. Uh, white gentleman um, voting on a woman's right and how to control a woman's body to me is the is the oddest shit on earth because a I don't think any male would want to go through childbirth at all mm-hmm. I I can't name one I don't think any um, just even even when people like say like oh there's something that could like pass through your penis or that that little fish or whatever like if you pee it'll go up your pee stream or whatever and go, oh yeah people like even guys all over the world just like cringe like oh like just the thought of it not even that fucking uh if you if you guys really want to test themselves or whatever uh fucking get a catheter put in your dick see how that shit feels challenge accepted okay i'll be uh, back <laughs> get this fucking uh little plastic tube shoved the fucking through your meat <laughs> No lube. <laughs> like, no, because I, I, well, I don't know if they do or don't, because when your ass is unconscious, I mean, they just fucking do it, so. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't know, huh? You wouldn't know, oh, uh, but you're going to feel that shit when you wake up. But uh, <laughs> also, like, of course, when you do wake up, then the niggas take it out. You're conscious. They don't, don't you fucking, cough or something? They, 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 they don't sedate your ass. Um, but, so that's, that's like the closest thing to, like, sheer torture for right. a male, right? Now, just imagine... Uh, if you're a male, having to do that, no, having that catheter in your dick for nine months, <laughs> right? And then the catheter just expands, like like they expand it every month. They just they just make it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And finally, it's the size of my penis. <laughs> and finally, at that nine month period, they decide, you know what? It's time to rip this bitch out, and then they just fucking yank it out your dick, right? <laughs> Like you've been Oh jeez a little warning. <laughs> oh god. Oh. <laughs> it's 
it gonna is it gonna close back up? Is it gonna <laughs> close back up? Oh my god, no one's gonna want me. I'm pissing everywhere. <laughs> the stream's not controlled anymore. God. Oh. But that's like literally I think the closest thing I can think of to for like Kidney stones, I guess. Too. Man, that's some bullshit. That happens like you can get past those in like a day. I don't know. I just I go by TV. Couple of hours actually. I um, go by TV rules. Like so. Yeah, there's nothing really close to there's it. There's nothing comparable. So I just yeah. don't understand how a whole state can say, you know what? We don't need women's opinion on this one. <laughs> 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 Fuck their opinion. All right. Let's just get to it. You know what? I'm tired of this shit. I'm tired of the tired of these women. See, we control their bodies. We control their minds. And... <laughs> See, because Sugar Free says, <laughs> quit playing while you bullshit. All right? <laughs> Go look that song up. <laughs> uh, shout out to Sugar Free. But um, like this type of shit, honestly, this is the things that scare me about the world. Because we're getting to a point where this is why I'm not so heavy on social media this is why i try to avoid like i try to be as normal as possible in the world today because you realize that the more you like feed into this shit the more you see like all like there's some real dumb things happening out there that are being allowed because like there's a small minority of people who are just like no it's just really loud no 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 and every time you say like a logical reason as to why this has to happen they're like no that's their argument. It's just going, no! <laughs> so loud in my head. No! <laughs> my ears are bleeding. I'm sorry, people with headphones off just heard me do that. Um, that's literally the argument. To, to like, it's, never, it's never a cohesive thought. It's never yeah. something that is logical. It's always just literally you can, like, it's the equivalent of someone just yelling no over and over and over and over again. And then, then when you ask them, okay, fine, why? They, they just go because it's bad. Yeah, I never have a, like a logical reason. That's it. Yeah. Because I don't like it. That's why. Because the Bible says so. And, and we're no, we're gonna get to that. <laughs> um, I don't but, know where it says that in the Bible. No one's ever pointed that out to me. Um, but let's just get to it. Um, are you pro-choice or pro-life? I am pro-choice. Okay, so by you being pro-choice, right? Mm-hmm. Would you let's let's because I, I think like I said. They're taking this to like a real, a, a real like level, which is like uh, I get it, but let let's let's talk for the uh, pro life people, right? Let's let's try to uh, play devil's advocate. Okay. So if you pass the, because uh, I believe what it's um, a baby forms within six weeks, right? Yep. And yep. and then uh, what's the like the latest you can get an abortion? Um, I want to say. Like anything after the first trimester, I think that's where it gets like dicey for a lot of people. Right, because it's then there's actual like yeah, health it's like there's like there. heartbeats, there's like a whole bunch. Everything's pretty much formed. Like if you're gonna get one, get it the sooner the better, probably. Let me look this up. Uh, what is the latest? I will say though, uh, while you're looking that up, me being pro-choice does not mean like I'm like yeah, get an abortion every time. Uh, it just means, like, you should have the choice to fucking have it, um, if you want it. Because limiting shit to, to, uh, because, like, like a small, yeah, what you said, a small group of people limiting just to their views and that's it, fucks over a lot of people. You start getting the, the, the dice situations where people start to try to perform abortions themselves, which I think back, like, but like back before Roe Ro versus Wade, mm. he was just like like uh, like uh, hangers, like metal hangers, and they would just like yeah. do that shit. Or that's the they whole, would get like yeah, it's the whole uh, the whole uh, coat hanger joke that people have made or comics have made back then about like I'll just get a coat hanger and I'll just fish fish it out. That or they throw themselves down the stairs. Very dangerous shit to like. Where it could yeah. just be, like, a, a, a simple procedure, I'm guessing, at this point. Yeah, a lot of people used to take um, certain drugs that would cause, like, bleeding or shit just, yeah. to, just to kill the baby. And, like, it was, just, it, was, it was wild back yeah. then. But um, So, it says, generally in the U.S., abortion is an option from very early in the pregnancy, somewhere between four to six weeks, depending on where you go, until about 24 weeks. So, uh, if we're doing three months, yeah, yeah, so so it's first trimester. Uh, well, so nine months, three, three, 
nine months times four weeks. Four weeks a month. What is that? That's what thirty six months. What? Wait, <laughs> what? I'm trying to think. 20, yeah. You said you you said twenty four weeks. Yeah, it's, it's set up until twenty four weeks. Yeah, up until twenty four weeks is three months. Yeah. No. No, what the fuck, fuck are you talking, talking about? I have no idea. <laughs> the we fuck? both can't do math. Oh, no, shit. No, no, I did math right. No, I don't you, think so. I you think, fucked up. I think we both fucked up. Let's share in the blame. No, a, no, I'm not going to make you feel blame. better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nine times four is 36. 36 fucking weeks. What the fuck was I thinking? <laughs> Mark's dumb, guys. <laughs> I did drop out of college for the math. I could not pass the math class. I said, fuck it. My last credit. <laughs> I said, fuck this. So, okay, so 36 weeks for a pregnancy, right? So we can go all the way up until 24. Okay. 24th week, right? So that's actually very far along. So, like, they're showing and everything, right? So mm-hmm. we can go all the way up until that point. So if there's, like, not a whole, like, if clearly there's a time you can, you know, make this shit and everything. Right. The, the pro-life people are saying, you know, when it gets past that, stage where it's just an egg and it's just whatever right Mm -hmm. when it gets to the part where it's actually a person inside of you now right um you shouldn't have the right to kill that person because that person does not a doesn't know that it's um it's in the world and b it it is a person that a brain is forming but you it can't decide whether or not you know hey so wait you're saying past the 24 week mark or as soon as like the sperm hits the egg no well see that's that's where it gets tricky Uh with, with pro life people because um i think they think that as soon as like as soon as you nut like these are all little babies <laughs> like, see that, that's the thing too how come how come like just jacking off and like coming into like a wherever you come into um how is that not killing how is that not the same I come move? on my closet door uh, every time i uh, I aim for the closet. This is, I got this hole in my wall. I didn't, I didn't want to buy spackles. So I just did that. Yeah, I kind of hardened it. Yeah. And, you know, just, it's easier. It's All practical. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the Japanese use ramen. I use semen. <laughs> it's the American way. It's the American way. <laughs> oh, my God. Daddy, there's a hole. But that, uh, uh, we'll, oh. get, we'll get back. <laughs> uh, Say no more. <laughs> say less. About to feel that. Uh, but let's get back to that later. Um <laughs> Get back to filling the hole. Get later. back to the semen. Uh, uh, <laughs> fuck. Uh, so the whole thing is. Um, so you're saying uh, past this 24 week mark, that's when that's when pro life people are like, no, like that, like it, it has like a heartbeat. It has like it's. I'm not it, saying that. I'm saying that legally, it says that okay. you can go up to 24 weeks for an abortion, right? Legally. I'm saying pro life people feel like that as soon as that. Um, egg develops into an actual fetus okay. and everything okay. and develops a heartbeat that you shouldn't fuck with that anymore. You, like, no, you've okay. already lost that uh, privilege or chance to do that, right? So, in, uh, for my estimation, do you think they have a point with that? Do you think pro-life people have a point when it comes to if the fetus turns, I mean, if the fetus just starts to develop a heartbeat, that you should not uh, be able to abort no, that's soon. I don't agree with him at all because uh, it's it's tech, like by definition, it's a fetus, not a baby. There is a difference. Mm-hmm. So by that difference, it's you you can do whatever you want to it. Like if the if the person carrying it doesn't consider it anything, then that's all that that's all that needs to be said. You know, like if if you're that person and all oh, like oh no, are you calling it a baby? You're not calling it a fetus. And you, whatever, like, that that's cool. That's your choice, too. But, like, imagine if someone was to take away that choice for you. Like, oh, right. no, you have to get aborted. Right. Like, it's at a law now that you have to. It don't matter. It don't matter if you have to feel connected to that baby. You have to. So that, that's why I fucking hate it, too, because it's like if it was the opposite way, it'd be, it'd be like, it'd be insane. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, what do you think about that? Um, me, I, like I said before, when we kind of we touched on this uh, topic, in a previous podcast, but we didn't go, like, in-depth on it or anything. Um, I am a person who is religious, but I am a pro-choice person because of the simple fact, again, using common sense, I am not a woman, right? <laughs> so I feel like I don't have a choice in that situation, you know what I mean? Like I Or I shouldn't have a choice in that situation because it's not. I'm not the one going through it. I'm not the one who's going to be uh, having to go through the abortion. I'm not the one who's going to have to go through carrying the child. Um, so what the fuck do my, like, what does my opinion matter in this situation? 
Right. Um, of course, when I say that, obviously, there's people out there who, is, who are like, hey, you know, um, if you want that child and then the other person doesn't want that child, there should be a conversation. True. Right. Um, of course, this is actually if it's like a relationship or, you know, some resemblance of relationship. Yeah, yeah. Not like one night stand accident. Whatever. Yeah. You know, don't don't do that. Yeah. Um, that's like that's completely up to that person. Right. Um, so if this this was something that, you know, it just happened. Obviously, a conversation should be had. But if it's a situation where, <laughs> you know, like a normal situation that happens a lot, um, one night stands or, you know, you're having sex with your girl. Hey, accidents happen. She comes and she's like, I'm pregnant. Condoms break. Um, shit happens. Uh, don't, I don't wear them. You know, just real shit. Um, hey, but. Uh, can't feel nothing. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Chris. Uh, <laughs> um. But, uh, you know, it gets to a point where it's like, okay, you know, she doesn't want this. Um, then I feel like, I feel like, honestly, that the woman has the final say in that matter. Mm-hmm. Because, like I said, like I already stated, she's the one going through the issues that will have to come of it. And also, not, not even just the physical issue. There's also, like, there's big mental risk with both, actually, because they're... Um, I don't think, I don't, obviously these people who are pro-life uh, don't think about this, but we're going to get to all, like, the rape and incest stuff, too. So, guys, hold your horses. Um, but uh, when we talk about just, just if you're a young teenager or a young adult and you find out that you're pregnant, right, and you know that you don't have the funds, you don't have the fucking uh, resources, you don't have the ability to take care of yourself down there, and now you have to worry about a child that's coming, right? That is a big thing mentally, all right? That that weighs on people. I feel like that's the reason why a lot of, um, like, people say, especially in urban communities, like, oh, because there's such a lack of a father and everything like that, um, you know, this is why uh, a lot of kids, if it's black kids or Hispanic kids or whoever, a lot of kids end up doing not doing well because they don't have a two parent household and shit like that or whatever, right? I feel like that's a cop out for a lot of things because I also feel like I'm quite sure if you went back into where those when those kids were conceived, it wasn't something that was planned. Um, and I also feel like uh, it was a lot of mental uh, stress and issues going on while that child was, you know, being. Uh, uh, what's the term when they're actually? I know caring is like the just the general term. Is it like a medical term for that? For like when, like when it's in the uterus? when when you're actually carrying the babies, or or is it just called caring? Uh, let's just call it caring. All right. <laughs> so uh, when that child's being carried, you know uh, all that, all the things that um, you know the mother's going through mentally, stress wise, and everything. That child, oh, get, like it affects. Yeah, the that child's receiving yeah. that too, right? So. I feel like that also plays a big factor into, like, mental issues and kids, you know, being being off or kids growing these, uh, uh, I don't I don't know, uh, I haven't done the research, uh, but it's off the top of my head. I'm pretty sure that there's a correlation between that and probably birth defects. I'm quite sure there probably is, you know what I mean? So, um, there's a lot of things I mean, that... yeah, if things like music and, like, your environment affect how, Yeah, like, it, can, it can affect whatever. a baby positively. Now, I'm quite sure a bunch of bullshit can affect them negatively, yeah. like, you know, so... But stress stress is a, is a hormone in the, in the body that right. like circulates through your system, yeah, it gets so... Secreted it gets secreted. Yeah, all that stuff. crap, so... Um, but uh, that's something where I feel like, yeah, we just... As a man, I'm not gonna tell, it, whether it be my girl or a girl that I'm interested in, we had a, had a one-night stand or had a fling or whatever... I'm not gonna tell. If I respect that woman, I'm not gonna tell her what to what she should do. Yeah, because I feel a certain like type the most of the most you could you could do is be like I'm here for you, right? You need like I said, I can say my opinion, which is like hey, if they ask for it, yeah, if they ask for it or whatever, or it's a situation where it's like you know, I feel like we've been in a relationship for a while. If it's mm-hmm. like you know, at least I'd say it's six months to a year, right? And then this happens. I feel like a, a, a conversation should at least be had. Doesn't mean that the you know the guy's gonna be like, hey, this kid, like we have to have this baby because it's not. Nah. I'm just saying that at least have the conversation, and then you can understand why you know she's going to do what she's gonna uh, do. Yeah, and you'll be like, okay, and I'm not gonna stop you, even though I might not disagree. That could break up a relationship right. if you are someone who's like I said, very 
against that. But hey, at least you can give her that respect to be like, but I'm gonna let you do you because this is right. And some I think something so fundamental is uh, you probably shouldn't be together if you disagree on something like that, right? Uh, I mean, yeah, that's... no, because also like I said, a lot of this stuff, a lot of people's uh, um thoughts or people's uh just uh beliefs I honestly feel like it comes from the home uh it comes from how you, how you were raised I, don't, I i really don't this is this this will be a hot take all right okay so you can guys get ready for this right i don't believe that a lot of the things that we believe in today are actual thoughts that we have um you know bring to fruition over the time of our lives like i i feel like there are some key ones like when we grow up and go through different like different shit, new experiences, right? But I feel like like fundamentally the things we believe in, it's all from our upbringing, uh, good or what, bad. What we were programmed to think, basically. right? So like I'm not going to sugarcoat it at all. I, I come from a very religious family, so um, my views on abortion are like, like 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 I said, eh, I'm not really um, for it, you know. But I'm thinking about the. I'm not thinking about like rape and shit. I'm thinking about if you had sex, you know, you guys have a. You it know, just so happen to happen. Yeah. yeah. Then I'm like, okay, um, you know, I, I'm a big per- person who's like, adopt, <laughs> get rid of the baby, don't don't kill it, but um, kick it out. You, know. <laughs> you don't want it. You don't want it. It's fine. Um, but um, that doesn't also. I had to grow up, like I said, and develop that thought process of okay, let me sit back because I'm I also am a man. Uh, I'm not gonna be carrying the carrying the kid, so I shouldn't have a you know have a right to yeah. be like, hey, no, <laughs> you're gonna <laughs> hey, you stop that. We're we are are you going into that abortion clinic? You turn around. How dare Missy. you? How dare you, Missy? You suck that dick. You know what you're getting yourself into. <laughs> That's how people get pregnant. That's how they get pregnant through oh, the mouth, shit. through the <laughs> mouth hole. I get it, cause in the throw hole connect to the unit. Yeah. <laughs> Throw hope that to the pussy hole and then <laughs> You know for real I used to think that like in third grade I was just like oh yeah they would just drink it they just drink it and uh <laughs> I, was like, I didn't know it was third what grade can do man he thought girls were getting pregnant out the mouth <laughs> I was in third grade I had a very limited and, sex and knowledge. The, and the funny part, I, if y'all didn't know, we went to elementary. Right? Yeah. We, we went to elementary and middle school together and everything like that, right? So I'm quite sure in his third grade class, he was like, guys, guys, <laughs> I get it, okay? You don't understand. You're stupid. Here's what happens, all right? Yeah. Dude, obviously, he busts off in her mouth. <laughs> she swallows it. Babies come from where? Listen, listen. The stomach. The stomach. <laughs> The stomach. Uh, yeah, you're close enough to where I'm not gonna correct you. <laughs> I mean, clearly they're not. It's not going through their vagina. How's that? How's I didn't that, know. I didn't even know what that was back then. How's I that, didn't know that existed. It clearly, it's not going through the whatever the hell you called a vagina back then. Through the, the through the nana. <laughs> it's not going through the nana 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 nana. <laughs> That's where the pee comes out of. <laughs> Duh. You think babies come out of a pee hole? You stupid. <laughs> How would they even fit? Uh, <laughs> huh? What happens? Big ass bitch. Ba- Obviously, they throw it up. But the thing I was, was thrown up. <laughs> <laughs> a bird dropped me off. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, I had convinced most of those people that that, that was See true. what I mean? So I'm talking about. They were all like, yeah, you right, you right, you right. Confidence. It gets you far. You right. And I was in the next class. It's like, these niggas is stupid. <laughs> Dwayne was in the smart, the smart uh, third grade class or whatever. I was in that one red balloon. <laughs> These niggas is dumb. <laughs> um, obviously the fork, the, the the stork <laughs> fucks your mom <laughs> while your dad watches. Duh, like, um, but uh, the, 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 let's let's get to the uh, to the meat and potatoes of it all, right? So, um, we're both. Uh, Pro choice. Yeah. Um, do you think there is any situation where uh, pro life people have some have 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 at least something to, like at least a uh, a ledge to stand on? With the, in, in um, this? only for me, it's only after like like uh, shit. Hold on. 
like second and a half trimester. Like after that, I feel like uh, shit. Like that's you, that's pretty far along, and and the, like the fetus is is really developed to the point where it can like, it can kind of like uh, hear what you're talking about, react to like certain voices. Right. I've heard like kicking. I know that's like a lot of that's like reflexes, but. There has been times and people swear by it to where, like, oh, like, someone's talking, like, the dad or whoever's talking or certain TV shows on, and all of a sudden the baby reacts or the fetus reacts. So that that's where I get a little dicey on, like, I would have, like, like, like uh, it, it would have to be, like, this, like, some kind of health issue where, like, oh, if you carry this baby to term, uh, you are, you're, you're going to die. Right. Like, right. something's going to, that, that's where it's just, like, that's really dicey for me. But uh, anything before that, it's just like, yeah, it's just a fetus. Like, it, doesn't, it can't... It's it's basically all reflexes, all nothing, basically. So, also outlined in, in the obviously, the, the new legislation in Alabama, uh, it made it very clear that um, victims of rape or incest were not excluded from this law. So, let's... I don't even like. I'm gonna be honest. I don't even get. I don't get that shit at all. Uh, I've never understood that about like pro life people. Um, because let's. This is what I wanted to get into, right? Let's let's break down the Bible Belt. The Bible Belt is primarily the, the South, right? And the Bible Belt are the. It's it's the Deep South, and it's people who are very very strong rooted in their religious beliefs and everything like that. So once again, like I said. A lot of um, things that they believe in were already developed in them as kids. Right? Yeah. I don't think they've taken the time to really get get out of their uh, uh, environment and really look at the world at, at you know in a whole sense. Right. So I don't understand how if a woman is a victim of someone forcibly having sex with them ejaculating in them leaving they didn't want any of that they are okay, so they are now supposed to if six weeks later they end up pregnant they're now supposed to hold that baby for an extra nine a constant reminder of what happened to them and uh, even to add to that constant reminder it's kind of like when you when you say stuff like that, it's kind of like it makes it their fault. Yeah, victim blaming. Yeah, it's like it's like it's your fault. You got raped, so no, you're gonna keep. You shouldn't that. have been wearing that. You should have been home. Uh, <laughs> you should see if you were in school. Awesome if you were in school, <laughs> right? it happened at school. If you were okay, well, if you were studying, <laughs> bitch. I was studying. You busting my room. Okay, well, if you were studying in the library, all right. I just see. I just see how All this right, you is. got me there. <laughs> you have a point. I'll keep it. Damn, I like that shit. God, man, they're smart. Um, but I just don't. I don't understand how that's even something that's, again, like logical. See that that's where I think that's where a lot of uh, pro life people like, or a lot of pro choice people can't understand pro life people because there's like stuff right there. There is n- absolutely no explanation for that. Like give me a give me a reason. There is none. Not even not, give me a bad reason. Well, how that how that's uh, how that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, like, like see, like you can't even come with a bad reason. Like that's like some crazy explanation for it. Like, I feel like again, I I, I really want to know. We should have. I want to one day have one of those people up here. Do you know any pro life people? No. Well, no. Like, I mean, I know. No, actually, like, I know they're hard to come by in where we're from. Like, yeah, like I got, like I know my girl's also very religious, but also I, if if I remember correctly, they also are people who are like, you know, it's their choice at the end of the day. Um, my girl is someone who I believe she's she doesn't believe in it, but she's not a person who's like, well, don't do it. Kind of like, like, I, like she would be like, I never do it, but I'm not yeah, gonna stop I'm not you gonna from stop it. you from yeah. doing it, right? Um, yeah, I don't know anyone who is like, yeah, no, you can't, <laughs> you can't, yeah. you can't do that. Because uh, yeah, we I've only I've only ever heard those kind of arguments where they they just say very blanket 
not s- sustainable arguments. And it's wrong. It. Yeah, that's it. And I've never heard, like I like met like one that's not yelling or going like you know just trying to be the loudest person in the room to get their point across. Mm. I've never met that like calm intellectual person that like oh no abortions are blah 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 this is because this this is the facts fact 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 fact. I'm like if I met one of those people maybe I have a different opinion but right never met any pro life person like that. Um. I don't want to make this ho- like seem like we're bashing pro life people because I'm not because I know I know fundamentally like I said I know where their uh, where their heart is fundamentally right for, if, if for if, most of them yeah yeah for the good hearted like they really truly believe like a life is a life right no right and I completely understand that yeah. right my thing is when it does creep into this as- aspect of rape or incest and things like that. To me, it is it's inexcusable. There's there's no reason why this should be something that should be carried out. Yeah, like it it makes zero sense, and I just don't. It it actually kind of makes me like it's sick. It's it's gross. Yeah, it's really gross to think that you know pretty much. Like, I, I don't even... Like, the only thing I can compare it to, just, like, <coughs> off the top of my head, is if, like, someone were to chop your arm off, and then for the next nine months, that guy's constantly around you, just, like, waving your own arm to you. Like, hey, I did this to you, and nothing happened to me. You can't get it back. Can't it's get mine. Back. Sorry, mine. Not mine. <laughs> you know? It's like, um, yeah, man, it just, it just... Yeah, it's... I it's, just don't... See, I, I think after after this uh, this story came out, I think I read something that said... The penalty for like trying to get rid of a like a, a rape baby, I guess you call it. Um, the penalty f- like for trying to get rid of it is now harsher than the actual rape penalty. Yes, that's yeah. insane. Yeah, if we're going by the whole class A felony, then yeah, punishable up to ninety nine years. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because then I don't like rapists don't get ninety nine years. <laughs> Not even close, man. Some only get three months in probation. Um, yeah. Shout out to you. Um. <laughs> I just don't, because I, I feel like this should, uh, if it's going to stay like this, or if this actually does come to fruition and this... They keep getting traction. They, this keeps getting traction. I think what's going to start to happen is, I'm not proposing this, but it's probably going to start to happen. All right. So, you know how um, a lot of females, who are, or women, excuse me, uh, a lot of women who... Um, you know, like to date like rich athletes and actors and shit. You know how they do right. certain things to, you know, basically th- their whole goal at a point is to get pregnant so they can end up, you know, getting this money from these people for alimony, you know, child right. supportment, all that stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, you said child supportment. Yeah, I don't think that was it, but child support. Uh, child support. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, alimony is only when you're married. Right. Right. Um. So, I feel like what's gonna start happening is these. These girls are just gonna start raping these these guys. Oh, I want to ask the audience something because I I've, I've never looked this up. Because can women legally rape? I'm telling you, it, it, it can be done. Don't think so. I think because be I think back in, like when these laws were invented, like because men were like macho, whatever. Getting a hard on was consent. It, it can be done. Um, I just don't. I know, like. I get it. Like logically, common sensely, it it could be done. But like legally, I'm talking about legally, like in the law books. I'm sorry. I just feel like if that. Look, we're not. We are still primarily very young, um, right? We've only been here 27 years. Um, I'm pretty sure there are people like us who thought just like us mm-hmm. years and years and years ago. I'm quite sure there were women who thought just like us too. I feel like by now we would have had like a serial woman rapist <laughs> or or something, right? We just haven't because right. I don't think like you know I I they I, it's, it's not but the they're thing not going to do it's, it. It's, yeah, it's because it's like these macho ass men, especially back back before our time, where like right. men do this and men are here and women are over there, and who's going to admit to to a woman raping them, especially back then? The, the 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 one uh, Cardi B raped or whatever, according to him, he couldn't even really admit it. He was still trying to boast about like how he got her up there and all this shit, and right, then right. it was after the fact. Right. So, I, I le- I'm talking about legally. If you if any if any of you know like legally, I feel like legally you can't. But whatever. Yeah. Um, Let's move past it. 
I think women are gonna start. Uh, they're gonna start uh, raping these men, but in states where this type of stuff is now like, no, she has to keep that, and yeah, you're gonna pay for that. <laughs> yeah, it's your kid. Yeah, it's like, well, no, I didn't. I didn't want to have it. Like she forced me. I was drunk, and she rode me, and I. And it's like no. <laughs> hey, you came, sir. No, I'm you like, came. You know, like and I feel like only if this does end up really passing and coming into effect. Only then is it going to start to be looked at as like, wait a minute, we should maybe think about this because now it's hurting our bottom dollar. Oh, right, yeah, now it's affecting the men. Like, wait a minute, hold on. No. <laughs> I didn't want this baby, okay. all right? <laughs> she was giving me top. She cl- she blindfolded me. It felt good. And she then all of a sudden... It, and then she was praying her stomach was pregnant. <laughs> all of a sudden, <laughs> the mouth got real, a little too tight. And I was like, wait a minute. But I was handcuffed. I couldn't get her off me. <laughs> So, of course, I busted. Yes, they were my handcuffs. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> I busted inside of her. What do you want me to do? Okay, I can't hold it in. I can't hold it. <laughs> God damn. Bitch was fine. She knew how to ride. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, it, to me, I, I think we're getting at a point to also... Um, yeah, no, I think you're right because it, until, like, it gets to that point where it starts affecting men, like, nothing's going to change. Because all the people in power are are the twenty two people you saw, the twenty two uh, men that have control over that shit. Uh, but you know, at the end of the day, those people they 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 know how to get their whoever an abortion. Like they're not going to be affected by this law, right? That's another thing where it feels like because uh, let's 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 be honest. Um, if you commit a crime in America today, right? Uh, besides, like, the, the, the two big ones. Well, actually, no, not even take out... Actually, take both of those out. Fuck it. So, if you commit a crime in America, pe- I don't think people realize that it doesn't really matter what you did. The only thing that matters is, A, who you know, B, how much you're willing to pay. Because you can get out of a lot of shit if you have the the connections and the resources to get out of it. We've seen it, Right? These people who are putting these, who are voting on, essentially on millions and millions of women's rights and everything, they have the funds and resources to where none of this shit applies to them anyway. Which, to me, yep. is, is the part where I said common sense should say that that doesn't make any fucking sense. Mm-hmm. All right? Because how can you tell people who... Like I said before, they they do not have the financial ability or the resource to take care of these children. Right. If, 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 if they want to do an actual like, uh, I don't know, I don't know what you would call it, but let's just say they want to do an, an abortion that had nothing to do with rape or incest, right? So yeah. an actual like, this is their choice. They're getting trying to get rid of this baby because they can't take care of it, right? They have valid reasons. They can't take they can't take care of the baby, and no one around them is going to help them take care of it, right? So it's better to get rid of it now instead of bringing it, bring it up in this world and then being able to not take care of it and then either having to let it go or like a lot of, uh, which sucks, a lot of um, young parents do, they'll just try to like, they'll abandon it, they'll freaking, um, they'll try to pawn it off on like close relatives. Uh, I've seen, I've seen uh, women... Oh, yeah, the whole abandon with the grandparents kind of thing? Yeah, I've seen women, like, you know, leave it with uh, their friend or whatever and then just never come back type shit. You know what I mean? And Think about how mentally fucked up you have to be to to have that option. But see, Like how scared you are and, like, how... That goes back to what I said earlier. Like, there's so many mental health issues with this law if it's going to go into effect that no one's looking at. Yeah. I really do think they're just like, okay, if she they had sex and he ejaculated, clearly she wanted that. So if she wanted that, you should be able to take the baby. And it's like, well, no, those things don't correlate. Uh, one, two, just because I had sex with someone and, you know, he ejaculated inside of me does not mean that I wanted the baby after it. Okay. Yeah. It doesn't mean that at all. All right. So to me, it's just, it's a, it's an odd way of thinking because you're basically putting in jeopardy not just the life of, or again, um, it's debatable if you're putting a life in jeopardy. Uh, 
but you're now you're putting basically lives in jeopardy. Yeah, multiple people. Multiple people that has like an like uh, the potential to like uh, like expand ex- exponentially, like get worse and worse. Because like let's say uh, like to give an analogy, I guess let's say. Let's say this, let's say abortions were frogs, right? And people were like, "No, no frogs! Uh, I hate frogs. Get get rid of the frogs. No more frogs." Cool. Right. That shit passes. All of a sudden, man, there's a lot more fucking mosquitoes and bugs and every, all this shit. Right? How did this happen? It's just like, well, if we kept the frogs, then none of this would happen. It's like it's like that. Like it's the same people that are pro life. Most of them, I think. They they they're the ones that complain about like oh the, these families with uh, not like only one parent household and these troubled kids like from from those people that get troubled kids they get they break the law they go to jail and it just becomes like worse and they all they want is welfare and blah 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 it's just like well you could have stopped all that if you would have let that person get an abortion that person yeah. w- today would not have been on welfare probably would have maybe would have studied got like a good job or something right. productive member of society none of the bad shit you talk about. So like what like can you can are you allowed to complain about both? Uh no. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> so like so these pro life people, like if they start talking about how welfare and blah blah blah, this stuff, they should just shut the fuck up. It's like you, you chose your battle, your battle was abortion, you won in a, in Alabama, no more complaining about anything else. I mean not I mean as far as like the yeah. shit that it affects because yeah that that's actually a great question um if you are pro life then should you have the right to then complain about where uh America's budgeting goes as in it come when it comes to lower class families and lower class people or as usually people um who are pro life would say the uh the left um so they think Democrats and liberals are usually they usually fill up that uh, um, yeah. uh, group of people. So should you be able to vote on that? I think that'd be actually a great solution to that. That'd be an amazing solution if you're pro life and you're like, okay, I don't want people to kill other humans. Cool. Then you forego your right to vote for these things yeah. right here. This you can't touch this now because you have chosen that you want. You know, more people, which is a bigger population, which is more funds, which is things that, you know, we have to worry about. So since you want that, then you can't touch any of this shit. Don't don't talk to me about gas prices. Don't talk to me about welfare. Don't talk to me about Medicaid, Medicare. Don't talk to me about Social Security. Don't talk about none of that shit. Yeah. All right. You've made your choice. Go yep. over there. All right. And you know, it'd be crazy, too. It'd be, uh, it'd be a good idea to like, OK, those people that voted to, to pass that. Now let's tax them to, uh, and those extra tax dollars would go towards shit like child services, like the foster care system, all that crap for, for all the kids that get left behind because they weren't allowed to get aborted. Uh, no, because uh, that'll, that'll never fucking work because... I mean, that'll uh, work, but it's just like, uh, hey. I have a loophole to that. They should, if you are pro-life, then you should automatically be placed on the foster care slash adoption list automatically. Oh yeah, to take care of the kids. That, automatically, yeah. like but you so, gotta take your turn. Yeah, you gotta take you gotta take your turn because if you're a person who wants to, uh, again, as you said, if you're a person who and they get if you're a good hearted person out there, right? So that's why, right. so why, so why you're you know so you for the reasons the reasons you say for, for, for the reasons you say if you're pro life and a life is a life and they have choices and they you know they should have the ability to be able to make their own decisions and things like that then damn it you should help them make those decisions and you should take care of that child. What about the people that go the pro life people like well that's that's that was their mistake like I didn't force them to have sex and and do this and that <laughs> you forced them to get raped <laughs> 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 they forced themselves to get raped like I mean. Yeah. See, it's just so what? Okay, I guess let's let's take out the the rape and incest people, people that were just fucking the fuck. They didn't want to use a condom for whatever reason. They get pregnant. Or do those same rules apply now? Like the whole like the pro life people have to take care of those kids too. Yeah. Okay. One hundred percent. Because like like I said, if we're going on the simple fact that you're telling people, not well, just take out people. You're telling women. You are telling women that. No, that is wrong. You should not do that because you made those choices. Then, okay, since you're telling me it's wrong, all right, I accept uh, my mistake. Now, I don't want this baby, though. So please accept that you're going to take care of this. Yeah.
Because there is options. There, there's no laws against like putting the putting your child up for adoption or nope. or whatever. None whatsoever. You know? you know, so that's why I just feel like the whole thing in general is just one big clusterfuck of stupidity. And I don't. What? Here's a question. What do you think is the end game of this? Like, why? Why? What is the actual reasoning? Why would the state of Alabama pass this law? Why do you think it's uh, a lot of the pro-life people are trying to push towards this type of super strict abortion penalties and laws? I just think it's some sense, uh, some form of like... uh the old ways, like going back to to what America once was, and like we had wholesome ideals, and like this this fantasy of like this this perfect, mor- per- morally perfect person, which never existed, right? I think, but like on TV and like the shit that people want to portray, oh, this is I'm such a good person, and I would never do that, and like all this stuff, because like you said in the be- like in the beginning of the podcast, like you were programmed to believe this stuff. You, like if you go out into the world and experience shit, you might you might be different. But since it's so hardcore in your brain, that's it. Yeah, I was a I was a person who was very very um, blunt when it came to because uh, I went to a high school. Shout out to Jordan, um, but uh, I went to a high school that was um, just imagine like the worst of the worst all in one place at one time. <laughs> like, the worst of the worst, but then also some great people mixed in, right? So it's going to be a lot of... It's going to be, like, weird, right? A lot of shit's going to happen, right? Um, I saw a lot of shit. I saw people, obviously, selling drugs. I saw people using drugs. I saw niggas drunk in class and out of class. I saw um, girls getting fucked. I saw niggas who wanted to fuck girls. I saw <laughs> niggas getting fucked. Uh, that's a story. Uh, <laughs> really? I'm never gonna say <laughs> Like, um, that's, that was, uh, um, <laughs> you were just like, <gasps> you couldn't look away. I'm gonna join in. <laughs> um, slowly put up the camera. Yeah, I think the first time I saw, yeah, the first time I saw a dude get kissed was Jordan. Oh, I thought you said fucked. Um, well, no, I, I mean that too. I saw, oh. yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. Um but um uh I saw a lot there, right? Right. So I also for and I don't remember if this happened at Bancroft, maybe you can fill me in, I don't remember. But uh this was also the first time I saw like young parents. Um I don't know, I kinda grew up with young parents, so like so this is the first time I saw Okay like Actually, someone who was my age or younger have a child. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, people getting pregnant. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the first time. So, this is the first time I saw that shit, right? And I distinctly remember, um, I'm not going to sugarcoat this shit at all. A lot of the girls that it happened to, I was like, well, y'all was some, y'all was some thotties. That, 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 yeah, that, yeah, when, yeah, yeah, when you find out who it was, you're like, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. that was what happened. <laughs> That's yeah. a thought process. Yeah, I bet you it was bomb. Nigga couldn't pull out. It's what it is, right? Um, but the thing that was always crazy to me was they would, um, they would still come to school. For a bit. For a bit, right? Yeah. They would still come to school, and they would still try to do as much as they could, right? Mm-hmm. And it was insane how as soon as they had that kid, them, they changed. Like, the girl that you knew before who was either, like, super wild or super ratchet or she was super, she was super nasty or whatever, that changed. At least, for, at least in my opinion. Like, from my perspective, it changed. It wasn't like these girls, you know, beforehand were all, most of them were pretty ratchet, right? And then coming back, it was like, Nah, all that's out the window. We're not doing that no more and everything like so that. So I got my mother now. And, right. And then, yeah. like, even the niggas who was, like, chasing them, whatever, didn't chase them no more and things like that, right? And I know, looking from an outsider's perspective, it was like, damn, you were someone who just a year ago, literally, I guess, if you're a kid, you know, as a kid, we have, like, these real superficial thoughts and everything and everything like it's so serious but it's not so of yeah course, is yeah when first time experience all this shit so it's all yeah serious so when, when a girl thinks you bet thinks you like a good looking nigga you like oh shit i'm fly ass nigga out here or yeah. like vice versa when guys think a girl's bomb she's like oh yeah i'm that bitch and everything right so a lot of these women had that right they were like they were it and then now it's been taken it's been stripped away like no you're no longer that because they know my trying to fucking have no 
Fucking what? You we gonna go out and I'm gonna babysit your kid afterwards? Yeah. Fucking gonna happen now? You crazy? <laughs> fucking, I'm 15. What the hell? <laughs> um, I got homework to do, <laughs> bitch. Uh, <laughs> um, but so now that's been taken, right? And I saw a lot of girls go through like shit mentally. Yeah. I saw a lot of girls break down. I saw there was one girl that me and Jay remember. Um, who well, I won't name, but she was like very erratic. With her behavior and everything. You mean after the fact? It, no, before. I, I didn't even know her before, right? Right. After the fact. She was very erratic. And she was the only person I ever saw, which I was like, what the hell are you doing? Like, this is, we're 15, 16. I'm a junior at this point. And mm-hmm. she had brought her kid into class. Like, she brought the kid to school. Can you do that? I don't even know. But they, she was, the, the kid was in there. Mm-hmm. And... The kid was, you know, it was crazy because, like, you know, the kid will be hungry or, like, walking around and shit. I'm like, there's a fucking baby. <laughs> in high school. In high school right <laughs> that's, now. That's and crazy. it was like, and then at a point it was sad because, the, once again, you knew that she was going to be, uh, you know, doing that for the rest of her life. Until, the, obviously, that baby was old enough to take care of itself. So, obviously, when it gets to being our age that, she, that we are now. Yeah. Right? So... I'm like, I wonder, did she ever think, I just want to get rid of it? And then the same things, because I remember she was, she was a very religious person, too. Yeah. So I'm like, clearly her family was like, hell no. Right? Because you made this choice and everything like that. Right. And the thing that always was crazy about it was because I saw her have those issues. I saw her be like, I have to, uh, you know, I, she, she would leave because some, someone had to watch her child. Or she would leave class because she was having these uh you know issues with, with her body and things like that and i would be like man what the fuck like i'm tired of this shit like we're like you know you always come in here like fucking you did it like you know like right. man up nigga like and then the i thought very, of, like kid thoughts yeah right super kid thoughts right and then i thought about it i think about it now and i'm like fuck the nigga who did that was never around, clearly. Yep, he got he got away with he it. He got he away with the shit. shit. He probably, like, the parents probably took him, like, no, he's too young to... Like, yeah, yeah, like, or he just didn't tell his parents, didn't talk to her no more, fuck yep. it, right? And I'm like, and she has to deal with that. And she has a big enough heart to be like, you know, this is my child, I'm not gonna abandon it, I'm not, I'm gonna try. Yeah. And she's trying, you know, and that's something that, like, I just commend it now, because I'm like, fuck. Like, if that was me... Yeah. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> like, like I, I can't even, like, imagine it. I couldn't even do it now, honestly. Like, like fuck. you know what I mean? Like, and that's the thing where I just feel like these pro-life people, I don't think they see all that. I think they literally, because most of them are well-off, most of them are people who are honestly, they didn't come from backgrounds like ours. They didn't yeah. come from situations like ours. They didn't, they don't understand really how... You know, I've seen kids fucking walk outside the house and be around nothing but gang members. I've seen uh, babies, you know, um, outside crying while mom was fucking down the street getting high or drinking and shit like that. And you're like, where the fuck is, where's is, where is her mom, man? Yeah. Like, you know, I've seen, I've seen neighborhoods have to take care of kids because the parents got locked up or some shit like that. And, the, and it's like, well, you know, uh, because they, they're friends of the, the parents are like, you know, they, they don't want the state taking their kid. Yep. So now you got fucking the, the homeboy and the homegirl taking care of your kid and shit like that. I've yeah, seen there, that. There's, 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 there's even stuff like today where it's just like, like the 12-year-old or like the oldest one out of however many kids they have. They, like, as soon as they get home from school, they're in charge. They got to take care of their younger kids. A 12-year-old basically has to be Facts. like the, the fucking mom and dad yeah. it's, until they get home from work or whoever, you know, gets yeah. home. Like, and that's just, and I feel like if we want to go back to, um, this America that was perfect, apparently, um, we have to really think about then uh, a lot of things that were way different back in those days where there are two parent households, there were, uh, they, there were way more resources than there, than, than, than there, uh, they are now. Right. So I just feel like I don't, I don't think there's an end game. For this shit, I don't think there's like I don't I don't think there's a reason. I really I really do think it's just a lot of men who are like no. It's a way to control 
uh, the the uh, it's it's a form of uh, way to control a a group of people. In this case, it's a group of women. It's right. like it's like a test. It's like it's like hey, because I really don't think they care is the thing. I That's really don't thing. give a fuck. I, so it's like hey, let's see if we control these people. If we if we could pass a law saying we can't control these people, how much further can we push this? Right. What controlling? else can we do? Yeah. How much? How, what other group of people can we control with our laws and shit? Do you think? Do you think there'll ever be a point in uh, history where we do get to the point where it should just solely be a woman's choice and that's it. Yeah, we will. It's just gonna... It's just gonna take a long-ass time and it's gonna take, like, the, the wave of new, uh, I want to say, Congress, Congresswomen mm-hmm. uh, that came in this year that were, that were voted, I think, during the midterms. Uh, it's gonna take, like, a lot more of those people being in charge to like for for like them to have enough power to where they could just whatever they want basically and they could decide they could just sway everything else because they i mean even even if you have other people against you that 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 crowd is so small um their vote's not going to mean anything basically right i feel like we should get to a point where honestly some things just shouldn't be discussed if you're not a part of that group of people yeah, like um, when it comes to like I've always stated when it comes to like gay marriage or something like that, right? I never understood why people who aren't gay have such a issue with gay marriage because I'm like it doesn't affect you. At the end of the day, two guys getting married, two girls getting married, does not affect you. Well, I have to. Uh, how am I gonna explain it to my kids? Well, I mean, like one, if you if you just use the short term answer, if, if they're not around it, then you don't have to explain anything. Oh, but they see it on TV and and all this bullshit. That it's like it, it's like the laziest fucking parent. It's like talk to your kid about the world. Like don't let your kid learn about the world through through TV through other shit. Tell them like what's see, going on. With that, I've always had this like point of being like I understand that. Not from the perspective of like don't talk to them, but from the perspective of I'm talking about the TV. Fuck the TV. Um, I'm talking about from the situation of like if you go to public school and shit. Once you go outside, what really shapes shapes your kid is the people that, that they're around. <laughs> so it's like their other tiny friends, yeah. right? So um, because I'm like all the shit that I know now, I didn't learn from my parent. All right, I didn't learn that shit from my mom. All right, I went to public school. And we fucking like like people like Mark being like uh, girls get nutted, in, works. Yeah. Get nutted <laughs> yeah. in the mouth. That's how they have babies and shit like that. And then you figure out like, wait, that's just wrong. Holy shit. Right. But um, it takes a long time. And then by that point, like it, since it's in your head so much, like this is the way it happens. See, it, yeah, but see, if that's the point, then you should still think that babies come from. I do. Oh, okay. Do Never mind. That. Yeah, Mark's right. <laughs> All right. Um, that's, well, that ends this podcast. Um. <laughs> No, it's oh. just I just I just feel like it's like oh you don't know how to talk to your kid, you you shouldn't have a kid then if you didn't want to have these conversations like you you should figure out a way to tell your kid like hey this is this is what we believe in this family again the whole programming thing right. is what we believe in this family you tell them instead of them just figuring shit out through through fucking friends because that's that's not good okay. it's a lot of wrong information you learn like from other kids just babies talking to other babies here's here's a question um when do you feel like a child is able to comprehend those type of complexities? Um, I would say maybe around third or fourth grade. I think kids are a lot smarter than we think they are. I think they they push down a lot of shit. I think they, they write off because they, they see that their parents can't deal with it. And what they're doing is they're trying to avoid the situation. The kids will just go along with it. But if you give, if you give the child an opportunity... Um, to, to understand it and be like, hey, look, this is how it is. This is how the, this shit works. Then they'll be responsive. They'll learn. And, and the younger they learn, the more, like, the smarter they will be when, they, when they're actually an adult. So third, fourth grade would be uh, eight, nine years old, you feel yeah. like? Yeah, you teach them about, you teach them about uh, right there and there. You teach them about, like, how, how sex works, how babies are made. You teach them about consent. You teach them about, like, how, how things should work. Um, however, your li- whatever the lifestyle is, you use whatever uh, gender terms you want. Um, you tell them like this: "Hey, this is how this is how proper people do stuff." Like, if you want, and I'm gonna just use myself for example. Like, if you want girls' attention, you should do this. You should be respectful. You should do this. Teach them at a young age. They have those morals at a young age. They grow up with that shit. 
a lot less of this like sexual harassment shit and like the, the stuff like Me Too movement wouldn't have to exist because this shit wouldn't go down in the first place. Right, right. Well, see, I get what you're saying with that. See, that is something obviously where, yeah, that those are those are morals, right? Yeah. I'm talking about uh, that's just natural parenting. You should be doing that. Uh, I'm talking about situations like, um, like uh, explaining gay couples, explaining why. Yeah, third or third. The, I've heard because now, because now it's it's been like it's pretty. It's gonna sound bad, but it's like normal now. Like the whole gay thing is just like yeah, it just happens. It's it's part of the world. Who cares? It's 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 kind of gone to that point. I've heard kids like see like oh yeah that that kid that person's gay okay, and that's it. That they don't give a shit. They don't give a shit about like oh is that wrong? Is that blah blah blah? It's all it's 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 the same argument of like race. You don't like racism is taught. Like no one's born racist. Racism is taught. So. Basically, bigotry is taught. So, like, if, if kids don't give a shit, kids see two uh, two guys kissing, they'll be like, okay. It's just another... They probably, like, think it's gross it's kissing. And, like, kids tend to think, like, that kind of shit is gross anyways. But I think around that that time, like, you should, you should have... If they see it, if it's around in the world, talk about it, they'll comprehend it. I, I, I truly believe that kids are smart enough uh, intellectually and emotionally to understand that and move forward. Yeah, I just, I just don't. Yeah, I just don't. I think. do. I just, I, just, I've seen it. I just, I've seen kids say, go like, yeah, they're gay. I'm like, it's okay, whatever. See, that's the thing where I go back to us as kids, mm-hmm. and I always say we were awful. <laughs> like, I just don't. <laughs> I, mean, I just don't see it. But I'm sorry. I'm like, we used to bully the fuck out of Sheridan for being, and we all thought he was gay. Like, that's we bullied him for being feminine. Yeah. But see, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's, that's something where I'm like, that's not something, I feel like you can teach a kid because either way, I think, I, I think we, had, we, had, we had this whole debate a long time ago. I was like, either anything I say, if this is my child, right, mm. it's a form of program. If I tell him, hey, gay people are fine, I'm telling him, that you should uh, to- be tolerable, uh, be tolerant of gay people, and you should they should have, you should have no issues with them, right? Cool, fine. Now, if he interprets that in his mind that okay, so gay people are fine, that means that uh, I can do X, Y, and Z. Now, I feel like he took something that I said and misconstrued it. I don't point. think so though. I think he took it like exactly right because you're you're saying like they're they're cool people, they're fine, whatever, and then he, that kind of gives him self permission because we had this on the other podcast. Like we kind of gives him self permission to be like, oh, if if I wanted to explore this idea, it's fine. It's it's not like some horrible thing that I need to be ashamed of, right? Because because those those kids like they're they're gonna they, they are who they are no matter what, right? Like even as a kid, like you kind of know who you are. It just takes a long time. Um, See, I don't know. I think so. I think so because, uh, yeah, of course, you know, people change and evolve or whatever like that. But if they feel at the time and they want to explore, it's better for them to like you you to say that and them being okay with it instead of like them just holding that shit in and like being ashamed of it and like you know. And then all of a sudden, like like that's why suicides happen and the shit like that. I think it's better just to be like you you say that stuff. It gives them it gives themselves permission to go like yeah I could do this because it's it's not this horrible thing. It's not like this horrible thing people are saying it's just you know some people do this it's fine i think you're thinking thinking about it in like best case scenario terms and i feel like we're just not there as a society yet i just feel like we're not because from i don't know any kid today who thinks like that not saying that gay people or anything like that i'm just talking about who thinks that progressively already i just don't see it now of course there's kids who but again, that goes back to what they were programmed. Like, obviously, I think there's a girl that just got hi- highlighted in the news by Michelle Obama, who has like this. She created this like uh, app that teaches coding and everything like that. But her background, her family's background, is in that. So yeah. she was like already like they're like yeah, it fucking did <laughs> right. So of course she just followed her family and was like yeah, this is dope, whatever. But she just took it a step further. I'm gonna do this because because I know this right? right. I feel like at the end of the day, whatever. Your family, however your family raises you, you're still going to be 
with that. That's, that's why I said I don't feel like it's something to where kids can be like, you know what? Okay. Because you're saying teach them right. Yeah. And then they'll be able to then go ahead and go develop whatever it is that they want to develop in them. I'm saying that that's not possible until you get, honestly, in my opinion, to middle school, high school. Because there was a... We saw it. Like, and I just feel like we, we, were, we were a part of the shit. We saw a whole bunch of kids who fucking one year were like... We were all... In, in elementary... I didn't hear one racist ass statement in elementary because nobody was racist. Like I said, right? Like you said, nobody was racist as a kid, right? It wasn't until middle school that everyone became racist. Everyone started clicking up with their own race. Right. And I'm like, okay, so this, this was something that obviously they weren't taught us as kids because we were, we were all together, right? Like this is something that got developed in them as they got older and started to understand the world, how they wanted to understand the world. I feel like there's, because uh, we can talk about each other and everything like that. We're not racist, right? We make a show of racist jokes because they're funny, but we're not racist, right? <laughs> so, and, and my question is, at one point, I mean, at no point, how come we didn't think like that? But we have friends who are racist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they're around us. Like, and they, they were around us when we weren't racist. The thing, the thing is, they're <laughs> not racist around us. Like some, some, some of them are. Well, like, I, yeah, they do that little shit, but like, once we call them out on it, they, they kind of, it's less and less. Like, they know not to be racist around Well, that's what I'm saying. That, and that's what I feel like kids do. I feel like kids have the mentality, the same thing that adults do now. When they're pressured, when they're put into a corner, when they're backed up and be like, explain yourself. Wait, what would you just say? Then they're like, oh, 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 oh I didn't mean that. Yeah. Or, oh, no, I just I thought. Know, just, like, uh, I feel like kids do the exact same thing. Kids will, they'll let you, they'll tell you what, what you want to hear. Because cause that, that does get developed as a kid, cause a kid because it's the same thing like dogs do. Like, you can fucking tell a dog no eight million times. He'll be like, okay, I can't touch that while he's here. Yeah. But when he leaves, <laughs> I'm going to grab that. I'll be talking again. Yeah, yeah like, I feel like <laughs> kids, it's the same exact way, right? I feel like it's like, don't do that. And they're like, okay, I'm not going to do it. But, of course, we've seen it. I've seen parents be like, don't, like, stop hitting him. And they'll be like, okay. And as soon as that motherfucker turns in bed, they be like, bitch. <laughs> like, I just I don't. I mean, that, that's, what, that's what I don't like because then that leads to, like, secret lives or your kids sneaking out to, to be who they want to be and to do the shit that they want to do that you tell them you can't do. I think the younger you teach them, and I, the younger you teach them, the, the better they're going to be, the more pro- progressive they're going to be as they get older. Like, I want to say you keep referring to us, like, when we were kids, right? Mm. I would say when we were kids, we were more progressive than our parents as far as, like, the way we thought and shit like that. Right. Today's kids are more progressive than us when at that age. Right, but see, that's because of... I don't feel like that's because of society. I feel like that's because their influences were us at the end of the day. You yeah, and then that's, that's, that's a trend we should keep going because, like, okay, if... if Let's say, let's say you're right. Let's say it, it should be middle school and all that, right? Mm. So you, you, you teach your kid in middle school about all this stuff. When he gets older or she gets older, they have kid. They're like, oh man, you know, I'm gonna teach him during elementary. And then it just it just keeps going like that because I I just think we we have to keep progressing. Like you teach him. Obviously, it's your kid, so teach him whenever you want to teach him. But the the younger we teach these people, the 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 younger uh, the, the, the what am I trying to say? Stop thinking of your your kid as like, oh, they can't handle this. They can't handle this stuff. So I gotta protect them and like I gotta shield them from the world. Like, you got to stop thinking that way because they're going to learn anyways. Okay, so then, like I said, that goes back to my point of now what if, because you just said they're going to learn anyway, there's also instances of, of parents putting a lot of, uh, you know, pressure on their kids by doing that type of thing, which is teaching them about, like, all this shit so early. And then now the kids can't even really develop how they want because they're thinking about all this shit that their parents want them to already know. Is like is that also something that is can that also happen if if you wanted to go I mean, that route? Yeah, it's it's definitely a possibility, but I think kids are like kids are very resilient, not just physically. Like you know, like they could fucking drop on their sh- straight on their knees, and they could just like you're like, oh shit, that like that looked like it hurt. But then again, they're kids, so they just get up and run away. Right. Like like they're not even hurt at all. Right. So I think like th- they'll process shit. They'll they'll understand it. As time goes by, as like they get, they gain more life experience. They start to experience more shit outside of you, outside of the whole parent thing. They'll, I, th- I think it will be better for them, and I think they will, uh, they will understand it. See, because I don't think your idea is wrong at all. Like I, I, I would yeah. want it to be that way if the world was perfect. 
I just feel like there's so much shit and there's going to be so many other voices out there that aren't ours, right? Yeah. That, um, you know, because, like, like I said, going back to us and everything, yeah, my mom, my uh, grandparents, like, my family taught me these things, right? And then, my like, my girl, like, say I'm very literal. So, for me, as a kid, it was like, you know, don't ever let anybody touch you. That, in my mind, was nobody can touch me. Like, you know, my grandma telling me, um, only thing that you need to fear is God. To the to this day, I have that same thought process, and it, it, to some people, it's it's fucking scary because it's like no, you should be you should be afraid. Of it. I'm like no, nah, I'm not. Why? <laughs> like no, God. Like I'm afraid of him. That's it, All right? And again, that was a person who was young who was being said, hey, do this and do that. And some people think that's weird for me because they're like my 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 uh my girl said it herself. My girl and her brother said you got to be afraid of something. I said yeah, God. Like, like, and then they were like, and then they were like, um, they're, they're like, just like, well, no, like, it's okay to be afraid of like, whatever, whatever, like, like you can be afraid of a situation like that you could die in or whatever. I'm like, no, that's not, no, it wasn't how I was raised. I'm sorry. I can't like, no, I, I, I'd rather just go into that situation. Whatever happens, happens. That's it. Like, and I was, you know, taught that right at a very young age. That's why I believe it to this day. But also, getting older made me realize that, wait a minute, because I believe that does not mean I'm, I want my kids to think that way. Because that shit is stupid. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't realize that until I got older. And the reason why I'm saying, like, I feel like it's going to, I think it's, it has to be like a balance, yeah. is because at the end of the day, the uh, our kids are going, I feel like they should have to experience shit first. Like, because then at that point, I feel like, They'll be whatever they because we can tell them if something's wrong or not. Right. Because if let's just say, you know, uh, you have a kid, he comes back and he's like um, going back on uh, gay marriage is just the best example right now. Mm-hmm. But going back, he comes to you he's like, hey, uh, dad, I saw I saw this man, this man kissing the day. Mm-hmm. And he and then you're like, well, what do you think about that? And he was like, well, I didn't really care. I thought it was like, you know, didn't bother me, whatever. You'd be like, oh, okay, well, cool. Yeah. <laughs> like, Some people I, are gay, son. <laughs> that's, that's it, right? <laughs> that's, that's, it that's life, right? But, um, and I feel like, okay, it's like, oh, shit. Like, he thought that on his own. I didn't have to tell him. Yeah. Like, you know, don't, don't uh, like, ostracize these people and things like that or whatever, right? But on the flip side, I feel like in those moments when it's like, dad, um, there's this girl that I really like at school. And I want to make her my girlfriend. Okay, what are you going to do? I'm just going to make her my girlfriend. No, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> hey, you right there, you're mine now. <laughs> Come here. Come here, right Come here, now. Come here. Um like and I just yeah, I just feel like, you know, there's things like that where it's gonna happen and it's like, okay, now here's the moment where I break down to you why I do not think like that. But I'm glad that you came to me first <laughs> before you did some some real stupid shit. But also I feel like, yeah, I, I feel like you are right. There should be moments where you're like, hey, um, let me explain this to you. Because I, you know, I feel like you're gonna see it soon or something yeah. like that. I just feel like there has to be a balance. I think, yeah, I think there's like a combination of what we're both saying is like the right answer. But because something you said reminded me, like it doesn't have to be so specific. You can just tell your kid, like, hey, look, don't like form your own opinion on stuff. Don't yeah. get influenced by like all these what all these other people are saying. Like, listen to how you truly feel inside and form your own opinion. Right. And then talk about it with like. People that have experience, so the older, like, talk about it with me, talk about your parents, talk about it with your mom, talk about whoever. Right. You know, people that you, you trust, you know, and then, like, debate them. Right. Prove your point. Because for me, I've openly said that I, I hope my, uh, you know, my kids like baseball. I'm a big baseball guy, right? But at no point, you know, if I give my son or daughter a bat and they like it, but they fucking see a basketball and they're like, no, this is funner. I'm not going to be like, get, well, get that shit out of here. We're it's not doing a baseball that. family. And it's the baseball family. I'm going to be like, all right, well, I guess we're just doing basketball then, whatever, right? And that's how I feel. You know, like, I can only, I can teach you what I know, your mom can teach you what she knows, and yeah. then your family can teach you what they know, right? After that, that's how I would raise it. After that, go out and then fucking figure it out, all right, man? Not, not like, literally, but yeah. it's like, you form your own opinion. You tell me why why you like that. You tell me why you feel this way about something. I feel like those are the real smart kids. Yeah. Kids who are, you know, just told like, hey, do this, do that, don't do this, don't do that. I feel like you, we all, we, we put them in a box. Yeah. Yeah, and then it's like, okay, 
I can't do that because that's wrong. But my when f- something that they weren't taught happens, they yeah. freak out. They don't know what to do. Like, what the and fuck? Like, oh shit! Uh, uh, like so, it's just, it's a lot. But yeah. um, I would say that's how. That's actually like thinking back. That's how uh, like kind of my dad raised all of us. Even you, no. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, he kind of just he got it was like a like a light guiding hand, but like he would just he would let us just fucking live life and like you learn how to stuff. And then when when like we were thinking about it, we would talk to him because. We weren't afraid to talk to him about right, shit. Right. So we, I would tell him what's going on. And he'd give his opinion, and most of the time he was fucking right. Like most of the time we would go like, nah, I don't think so. But then he'd end up being right all the time. So it's right. kind of like um, he's older. He already knows. Like, yeah. It's the same thing with my mom. There's there's a bunch of stuff where I was just like, oh yeah, she she's she's nuts. <laughs> um, and then I'd be like, oh, damn, she was right. Uh, yeah. And you like never my, tell him. You, yeah, never, you never admit it. No, my mom. <laughs> you know, my mom was someone who was just strict on the whole. Like she didn't want me to get in trouble. Right. So her thing was always like. Wherever you go, I need to know and everything like that. But when it came to, like, school and shit, whatever I did between fucking eight and three, <laughs> my business, and I'd come home and tell her, I'm like, hey, mom, um, this girl, whatever. She'd be like, she would start laughing. She'd be like, she'd be like how'd she look? Like, it wasn't like a, it was like a no. You yeah. can't do that. Or, no, it was just like, it was just like, all right, let's see, little nigga. What you, what you pulling? Or whatever, you know, same thing. Or, mom, I, I'm pretty good at baseball. I'm going to stick with it. Okay, that's cool. Fine. Whatever, like, yeah. like you know, and yeah, that's just how I feel. But at the at the end of the day, like, don't abort. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, all right. That's what this bio is about. <laughs> don't do that. Like, keep the rape, baby. Like, keep that brother son of yours. If I pin you down and nut in you, you've been blessed. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> You, you've been blessed by the seed. You've been blessed by that, girl. That's going to be a future athlete. You mm-hmm. keep that little nigga. Yeah. But I'm going to leave. But I'm going to go ahead. You go ahead and have fun with that baby. I, I got to live, yeah, like, live my life. You don't understand that. Let me live my life. I got a lot of dreams. I got a lot of plans. And I just can't let this stop me. Let me live my life yeah, while, you, just... while, you know, while you take care of that. Yeah. Because, hey, it was your decision to but get But if that baby me. makes it, like, becomes like a famous I will come back I around. will come back and tell yeah. you that, you know, we had consensual sex. Yeah. Everything's in the man's favor, damn it. <laughs> Everything's coming up men. <laughs> yeah. Misogyny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're out here. New podcast name, Misogyny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, when I tweeted that, that whole sandwich went out, I felt so wrong. <laughs> but, like, I was just like, oh, my God. People used to say this. People used to, like, really say this with a straight face. Go oh, make me a sandwich, um, let me, let me, uh, this is the last thought, and then we can wrap this up. Um. In terms of all, all this abortion stuff and, like, rape babies and incest and all this shit, right? The one thing that I've always had an issue with when it comes to the uh, Me Too movement and things like that, and for for as much as they're right, there's always that one thing where I'm like, they're wrong. And for me, it's always, and this, like I said, you don't have to agree with me with this you don't have to believe me or anything like that i just want everyone to go out and do a little social experiment for every situation that women talk about when it comes to men and men being like aggressive and men being like you know um uh way too much and everything like that i feel like it always varies on the person right and it's something that we need to do a better job of as men to acknowledge for ourselves because if we're trying to police the world and police ourselves too in this shit right because um you know women at least uh, a lot of women want us to help you know they don't want to just have us sit there and just be like well you know shit you was talking to them like that it happens or whatever right they want us to help right the one thing we need to start calling out is when shit like this happens which i've seen it before this is why i'm bringing it up i've seen girls who are completely correct when they talk about a guy coming on to them being inappropriate and things like that. Cool. I've also seen that another guy do the same exact thing, but it was something that they wrote, you know, it was seen as okay. Now, I'm not saying that um, I'm throwing it up as, as this scenario, right? The, these two men had the same relationship with this woman, right? They could have been coworkers. They could have been schoolmates, whatever, right? There should be no difference in if we're talking about like, you know, wrong is wrong. Right. If we're talking about rape is wrong. Uh, you know, not giving women the choice to abort is wrong across the board. It's wrong because, you know, it should be a woman's choice. Then these things need to be wrong, too, across the board. 
if there's a gentleman who's inappropriate with you and you express that to him and you express that to people, great. There's another gentleman who does the same exact thing <laughs> and you are okay with it because you kind of like this person, right? But there was, there was no verbal cues. There was no kind of consent. It was the same shit, right? We need to start addressing that. We have to. It's the only way that we're going to, if we want to reach this whole magical land of like equality and being fair and being like uh, actual adults and being humans who can talk to, talk to each other, we got to start doing that. We have to. Because at the end of the day, this is why, this is why you hear guys give up the weird, really dumbass, illogical fucking excuses of like, she wanted it. And fucking, uh, you know, like, no, no, I can tell she liked it. She liked it. She definitely liked it. Or, like, when they talk about it, oh, yeah, so my boy talked to her earlier, and he's talking to her, like, real nasty, and she was cool with it, right? So I came from, I just came, I was like, yo, like, you want to fuck? So I just grabbed her. And I was like, whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa. <laughs> you just skipped over a whole shitload. Like, why yeah. did you do that? You didn't put the same work that the... Like, yeah, it's like, no, nah, my boy did it. My boy did it. And, you know, she was cool with it then or whatever, right? And I'm like... friendship and... Yeah, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, no. Like, this is, what, this is what needs to happen, all right? Ladies and men, too. If you see this shit, I don't care, all right? Men need to start calling it out. Be like, hey, quit all that, bro. Stop all that, all right? Because I've... It's happened to me, all right? I've, I do this shit. Cause I, I I I come I come home and I tell him I do this shit right. I will literally like just to make myself laugh because I'm like this this is the whole point of this shit right. I can easily say, say something to a girl that can be deemed as inappropriate right, and I'll say it they'll laugh right they'll joke with me they'll say something back and everything and I'll barely know this fucking girl right. And it's just because of how I look or how, or how they perceive me right. And now another dude will say the same shit. Or, or someone told me, told me something that a guy had said to this girl, and she got super mad, right? And, like, they will completely just omit it because it's me. And I'm like, don't do that. Like, no, I want you to be like, what? Excuse me? Like, I want that. Because then that's how, that's how I feel like us as men, we know, like, you don't play. Yeah. Don't play around with that. It doesn't mean, like, oh, no, no, no. He got caught because he's a sucker. Like, I'm going to do it, though, because I'm not going to get caught. Like, no, we got to stop that. And that's why I want women to also address that, period. They have to start being like, hey, now, I'm not saying if there's consent on that, if you, if the other dude who you're talking to, if he does that shit and you're cool with it and you can say, like, hey, yeah, yeah, touch my ass. I want you to. That's fine. Go the fuck ahead. You gave consent, have a ball, right? But I'm saying if there's still no consent, there's no verbal fucking cues, there's no type of, like, there was no type of talking before this to mean, like, oh, you know, I'm okay with you doing this and that and everything like that. Then you gotta you gotta stop that shit too, all right? If if, if we're gonna be live in this world like this today, we gotta stop that. Period across the board because that will then start to make us men know, okay, we should think about what the fuck we're gonna do before we approach these women, all right? We shouldn't be all like, no 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 no, hey hey ma ma, just grab her. Niggas still do that. And I'm like, why do you do that? <laughs> Nigga, so weird. If you touched me, I'm beat your ass. Like, now why do you think you're gonna touch this girl the same way? And she's gonna be like, oh, oh. Because oh, it worked this one time with this other one. Oh, you're so strong. Oh, pull me harder. Like, that's, that, that never works. <laughs> like, the, but niggas do it. And I don't get it. I just don't, man. But then, like I said, there's moments where. Uh, fucking, you will see girls who don't address that type of shit. There's something that we, we have to, as uh, men and women have to address it to, we have to start stopping all that inappropriateness right across the board. There shouldn't be like a level of, there shouldn't be levels to this shit. There shouldn't be like, no, because he's a creeper. He, no, don't do that to me, but because that guy is attractive, you can do it. Now we gotta stop that across the or board. Or if they can do it, like, you gotta make it known. Like, exactly. Somehow, some way, I don't know how. But right, like, like, he can. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know because, but I'm I'm saying this because this is what this is the world that we live in today, so it has to be addressed, right? Yeah, like you, we have to stop because um I, I think a lot of women just think like oh no it's like it's like I you know because I've heard that because I ask like women like how do they know that they like someone or how do they, like how do they know that they're into someone it's like oh it's a feeling like like you just know like you like you like spending time with them and you're just into them and everything like that I say okay. So how does a guy know that he's supposed to then, like, act on this stuff? Yeah. 
Because I've, oh. I've been in that situation many of times where, like, what? Like, that person yeah. liked me? Like, I had no idea. What the like, fuck? You know? I'd have bent her over. She told me. Fuck. Please give me consent to bend you over. Please. Man, would you like me to bend you over? Like, you just got to say it. I will. I will. Um, but, yeah, I've been in that situation, too. And it's always, like, it's funny because the girl's always, like, it's always across the board. It's always, like, no, they just, you know, you just have to go for it. Just go for it. And I'm, like, yeah. we can't do that. <laughs> you, we can't. How can we do that? Yeah, that was, I think we talked about it on a podcast a long time ago, but like, about like, just going for the kiss or asking, does asking for the kiss ruin yeah. the romance of it? Yeah, like, and I, I, every woman I've talked to who said this shit says it does. You really want to take that risk with yeah, someone you like and gonna, you feel yeah. like they like they like you? It's just, yeah, I'm not going to take that fucking risk. So, you know, this is why I feel like, hey, we got to start saying these, uh, I don't know if there's non-verbal cues or if it's like verbal cues. We got to start working on these, all right? Because Make it known on social media, like, hey, these are the non-verbal cues. Yeah. These are the verbal cues. Create right? them. Create non-verbal yeah. cues for us. Like men. how we how we made up like FML, LOL, like it's yeah. just, that, that shit was made up before. That shit didn't yeah. exist. Those are acronyms. Not before though. Like <laughs> it wasn't a thing. Like people were going around going like LOL, LOL. Oh my god, LOL. You weren't doing that shit. I don't know, but it's like, I don't know, fucking the little uh, eggplant emoji. Yeah. Shush. Hieroglyphs. Show it to that nigga and be like, yeah, yeah, I want that. He'll be like, oh, you, want that? <laughs> you want that? You want that? Goes to grocery store, but here you go. Is that plan you wanted? I don't know what that meant. I need verbal cues, I'm sorry. Some, like vitamins or something? Like, I, I don't do non-verbal <laughs> cues. Um... But, uh, yeah, we just have to work on that, uh, you know. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, we were able to just to wrap all this shit up. We are not people who want to stop women from their rights uh, when it comes to abortion and things like that. We fully believe that y'all choice. It's y'all bodies. Y'all do what the fuck y'all want to do with that yep. shit. All right. Do not let any of uh, any man tell you that you can't do some shit or whatever. Uh, I, I think I speak for both for both of us with this situation. Now we we fully uh will fight to stop all this bullshit because this shit is just like this is insanity. I don't know. I I thought I'd never never see some shit like this because I, I wasn't. We both weren't alive with with Roe v Wade, but yeah, like that's being threatened. Like so, as fuck. like I just don't understand that. And I this is something that I really do feel strongly about because I grew up with, like I said before, I grew up with nothing but women. So yeah, you're not going, you're not going to tell me unless you want to go that route with it, which my family has no problem going that route with it too, or whatever. If you touch one of mine, yeah, so we'll not be here. <laughs> so if you want to avoid all that shit, all right, we should probably keep it the way it is. Cause that's that's where it's gonna end up. So hopefully um, we were able to sh- shed some light on, I guess, the male perspective a bit on that. But you know, it, it's a it's a really complex topic that we can talk about for hours, and there's a lot of stuff that we go into. It. Hopefully, one day we'll have a a pro uh, pro life person uh, on, and they'll be able a to reasonable pro yeah, person. they'll be able to explain like why they feel the way that the way that they feel. But yeah. until then. Mark with the plugs. Um, you can find us on YouTube, youtube.com slash how do I know you. Most of you are on there. Um, you can find us on Instagram, H-D-I-K-Y-1. Twitter, at how do I know you one. Working on getting all those just the same. Yeah. Takes a while, though. Takes some time. Takes some more subscribers. Yeah. That means you guys out there. Tell your friends about it. Link your friends. They will like us. Tell like-minded people to, like, listen. Tell unlike-minded people to listen. Because you know what? What? I don't know. I was asking you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I fucked up. Was it? I fucked up on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can find my personal Instagram. I interact with a lot of you more there. Um, at <laughs> All the bitches. <laughs> Mr. Lucky 005. <laughs> All the bitches. Uh, you can find me at um, DC Junior BFSB. Um, I'm not on there as much as I should be, but I mean that don't stop you off from you know, Twitter is the way to go. To hitting me up, but if you want to talk to me, Twitter. If find me on the Twitter um, at DC Junior Thirteen. Uh, I will see your tweets. I will respond if I have if I'm a have time or if I have service at work because I'm usually at work. But if it's after work, then shit. Uh, I'm busy me. working out, sorry. Yeah, catch me in the gym with this guy. 
and I'll probably laugh at your tweet and be like, you fucking dumb motherfucker. <laughs> I won't do that. No, I, uh, I'm friendly. I'm the, I'm the friendliest one out of the group. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm the, I'm the asshole. All right. But uh, know that spread that <laughs> spread that asshole. <laughs> we, we won't. <laughs> <Damn> That's <it. laughs> regretted as he was it. <laughs> There's one girl out there like uh, spreading. Uh. <laughs> I'm gonna send him a picture of my asshole real fast. <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> um, uh, I just want to give a quick update on our our quest for 500 subscribers. Um, we're at about 278. 278, yeah. yeah. Last time I checked and everything like that. So, um, a little under 200 and, what, 30, yeah, 232 subscribers to go till we get to 500, I yeah. believe. That's quick math. Don't quote me on that. I think I'm right, though. Um, Don't ask me. <laughs> I hope I'm right. <laughs> you correct away. Yeah, you correct away. Correct away. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, uh, thank you guys for subscribing and following us out there and sharing the content. Uh, if you can, please continue to share the content. Uh, get us to that 500 subscribers. Because once we get to 500 subs, that's five zero zero subs, we will put the podcast on a streaming service. We don't know where. We don't know how many. We don't. It could be all of them. Could be one of them. Could be just fucking whatever. Yeah. And more importantly, I get a wig. Yeah, Mark gets a wig. I get hair um, finally. A lot of shit. We have, we have a lot of stuff coming in the works. We're working on it. So there's going to be a lot of extra content coming soon because you guys love us so much. So we feel uh, it. there'll be more of, of us on your YouTubes and hopefully some other platforms if I can get that situated. But we'll see. It'll happen. Well, yeah, it'll happen. Definitely happen. But like we always say, if I don't know and you don't know, who really knows? And how do I know you? Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching on the YouTubes. All that stuff. Like I said, like, comment, subscribe, all that cool stuff. Let's go.